Hallo miteinander. Wir möchten Ihnen heute den neuen Pirelli Rosso 3 vorstellen, den Nachfolger vom Rosso 2, also einem sehr, sehr sportlichen Straßenreifen. Und bei mir steht Salvatore Pinisi, seines Zeichens der Chef der Entwicklungsfahrer von Pirelli. Also bei ihm laufen die Fäden zusammen und das Feedback der Testfahrer kommt bei ihm zusammen. Und er hat sich bereit erklärt, uns etwas über den neuen Reifen zu erklären. Salvo, the Rosso 2 was a great sport style. In hot condition, fantastic grip, fantastic feedback. Now you've changed to Rosso 3. What are the new features of this tire? Thank you, thank you for the question. <laughs> yeah, Rosso 3 is the last development of the Pirelli on the world of super sport tires or road super sport tires. Uh, we started from the experience of Rosso 2 and uh, our target it was mainly to develop an upgrade in terms of wet performance, in terms of mileage, uh, taking in mind the fact that the Rosso 2 was a superb tires also in original equipment application but uh, taking also in mind the fact that after some years and with the experience that we achieved on the uh, world of uh, the racing uh, development but also on the road development and uh, on the process development for the for the factor we had the opportunity to uh, maintain the very good performance on uh, on dry of rosso 2 but with a very uh, strong improvement in terms of wet and in in terms of mileage. We achieved these, uh, these results thanks to the new materials that we were able to use, the new uh, design of the carcass engineering and also about, uh, with a thread design that is maintained the extraordinary look of the Pirelli tires but with a very good technical aspect in terms of drainage and distribution of the force under the contact area. Okay, a lot of information for the customer because I have to translate it later. Uh, you still have mono compound on front, uh, multi compound on the rear, compound double rear. compound yes. on the rear. That's yes. still the same like a Rosso 2, but you have a better compound and you have changed something in the carcass to make it stable and in dry, dry and wet condition more practical. Exactly, exactly. Uh, we develop the new compounds both on the front and on the rear, taking the, the experience from the from the wall superbike, but not only. Uh, we are using a double compound rear, where in the shoulder of the tires you have a full silica compound that is giving you a very very good support on on wet, and um, uh, on the central part of the tires we have a mixed silica and carbon black compound that is giving giving you the opportunity to have a very good mileage, but also a strong traction in acceleration on wet and on dry, and also tractivity on braking. Uh, the support of the shoulder is guaranteed to the fact that we have the, uh, the same compound that is on the center of the tires below the, comp the full silica compound of the shoulder in order to have a very solid uh, contact on the ground and a strong control in acceleration. On Sorry, but that's not your thing in mind. Another competitor has made it one, two years before. The, um, the technology of double compound is, is uh, well known by Pirelli. Pirelli was using the double compound when uh, in the racing, for instance, uh, with a strong experience uh, since many, many years ago. Is uh, is not an exclusive technology that some competitor is using and Pirelli is not using. It's something very well known. Uh, in the past, it was not strongly necessary to use double compound. Now thanks to the fact that also the motorcycles had a very strong development in the sense of electronic control riding assistance, uh, we had the opportunity to enhance our technology, our experience, producing a double compound that is at the moment, we think, the reference in this uh, area, in this segment of tires. Uh, as well on the front, on the front we are used a full silica compound 
mono compound uh, that is enhanced the performance thanks to the very good combination with the carcass. We are using a new generation Ryan uh, material uh, to build the carcass that is deriving uh, totally from the raising from the raising application. So what we say uh, we, we, we sell what we raise uh, we raise what we sell on the rosso tree is the perfect uh, syllogism <laughs> to explain the the performance of the tire and how many or how high is the increasement of mileage that will be interesting for, for my customers yeah uh, uh, market was re requesting more mileage to Rosso 2. Yes. So uh, we were going on this direction. We combining the wet grip, uh, we combined the dry grip uh, with an, incre an improvement of mileage. Uh, if we refer to this bike, to S1000R, on normal use on the road, mixed use, road, mountain road, country road, motorway, we can count about 8000 kilometers. That is, that is not so bad, but of course it depends about the riding style, about the setting of suspension, about the different motorcycle. In this sense, I want to, to, to underline the fact that the Rosso tree has a superb versatility. The, the behavior of the tires is very well balanced. Uh, also, if you change type of motorcycle, this tire is working perfectly on uh, Super Sport Naked as S1000R, but also on uh, Superbike Replica like S1000RR, just remaining in <laughs> BMW home, but uh, uh, but also on the commuting naked uh, like uh, Suzuki Bandit uh, uh, 1200. Okay, sehr viel Information, aber sehr sehr ausführlich und wirklich schön beschrieben, was der neue Reifen kann, wie er aufgebaut ist, und wir bedanken uns bei Salvo für diese Informationen und haben diesen Reifen auch getestet. Wie der Reifen abgeschnitten hat in unserem Vergleichstest mit dem Sportec M7, mit dem Bridgestone S21 und mit dem Sportec 3 erfahren Sie in unserem Testvideo. Bis dahin hoffen wir auf hohe Spannung und viel Spaß. Danke.